There are some who bring a beauty so great into this world that even after they are gone, their fragrance remains forever. Our beloved Beth Meissner was certainly one of them. For Mac and me, Beth evolved from being a mentor in BNI to a role model who influenced our lives so greatly. And for me personally, Beth was a treasured soul sister whom I miss so dearly today, but who will be forever loved. In my early days in BNI, I admired Beth's elegance, beauty, and grace from afar as she spoke on the BNI stages. Thanks to the privilege of working closely together with the BNI Foundation projects, it is her inner beauty that lit up the entire Foundation team and she cared about the Foundation so deeply. No matter how many things were on her mind, she was always single-pointedly focused on impacting lives through the work of the Foundation and the Business Voices movement. We especially loved the special times we had together with Ivan and Beth in their suite when they used to host the Foundation team during every BNI Global Convention. These sweet moments will be forever etched in our hearts as we carry forward the legacy of the BNI Foundation. In 2019, we had the greatest joy of welcoming Beth to the Building Block School in Bangalore, India, along with Principal James. This project was very close to Beth's heart. We were fortunate that she was able to visit and see the direct impact of the Meissner's contributions and the difference it was making in the lives of these little children. She was the happiest when interacting with the little kids. Who is in your story was Beth's favorite question, which left such a deep imprint on me. And who better to share that story with us than Beth herself? And so when Mac said, my vision is the same as James to have 10 schools, I said, that's my goal too. And so whatever little part we have played, I feel so very, very proud to bring the parents and the kids of this community before the BNI audience and our BNI community and asking for donations and support and then support from my own family with my children. Um, thank you for the opportunity. I was telling James before one of the uh, dance routines that we have the chance in America to donate to programs that are very big like Compassion International, which is based in Australia, or uh, United Way, or other programs like that, that are doing really, really big things. But to be able to be involved in something so intimate and starting so small with somebody we actually know, and parents that we can meet, and children that we can, you know, hug and take pictures with, is very special, really special. So my goal now, going back, is to continue to infect other people with the needs of your projects and see what more we can do. So thank you for the opportunity to serve humanity right here in this little part of the world. It thank means a lot. Thank you so much. Beth was so excited to visit India, a trip she was really looking forward to. So in 2019, during her very first trip to BNI India, we rolled out the red carpet to welcome the Maharaja and Maharani of BNI as we fondly refer to them. They enjoyed their trip so much and Beth especially loved every moment of her visit to India. Beth also loved dressing up for the BNI events and the gala and she enjoyed even dancing to the Bollywood music during the Mumbai Members Day and even got Ivan and Mac to dance a few steps and that's a really big achievement I would say. While I always admired her enthusiasm, the one thing I wanted to share is that even if she was interacting with thousands of BNI members in her ballroom, her focus was always to ensure that Ivan was comfortable and he had everything that he needed. She was truly such a devoted wife and it was so precious for me to witness their love. She shared the same unconditional affection for all her children 
and whom she fondly mentioned in many conversations that we've had. Hi, I'm Beth Meisner. And she I'm was always so excited to try to wear a sari. Region, and she has gotten me ready for the member event in Bangalore tonight. Thank you so Welcome. much. I don't know if you can see my entire sari. And she has just yes. She looked wow and she carried herself so gracefully. And uh, behind the scenes, it was her kindness and her gentle ways that touched my heart. In Mumbai, during the pre-event security briefing, she mentioned to the team that she appreciated all that they were doing to keep Ivan and her safe, but she wanted to ensure that no member was turned away and without having a chance to meet Ivan. She informed them so clearly that Ivan travels all across the world in order to meet the BNI members. This was probably my most favorite slide. Oh, Adventure, so Beth. So much. Yeah. I love it. I she wanted to take a road trip and wanted to see a bit of the countryside of India. So we traveled by car to Mysore, India, which was the historic capital of South India. While enjoying visiting the Grand Maharaja's Palace and the monuments, she equally enjoyed the little things like seeing the vegetable vendor bring fresh produce to our doorstep at Morley and Reno's home. These are such fond memories that we did with a couple of other BNI friends from Singapore. For Mac and me, the most sweetest memories will remain of the day that Beth and Ivan spent with us in our family home in Bangalore. She was so relaxed and got Ivan to model in all the Indian men's outfits and he sweetly obliged. And yes, she had also mastered the art of frothing the filter coffee to perfection. She loved the Indian food dosa and she even learned how to make them before she left India. Beth, you will always be Ivan's sunshine and his beautiful bride, as he often refers to you. But you'll always be cherished in our hearts and you'll be forever loved. Beth, you were the purest soul I had met. And over the last couple of months, you would always ask me to send you some chants, which you found so soothing. So here is the prayer for peace, the ancient Shanti Mantra. Om. Reality lead us to the truth. From the darkness, lead me to the light. And from mortality, lead me towards immortality. Om, peace, peace, peace. The loss is immeasurable, but so is the love left behind. Rest in peace. My dear soul sister, Beth Meissner. <laughs>